Hi everyone, welcome back to Florida Trends Business Beat. I'm Ami Alexander with the Can't Miss Stories for the week of June 30th, 2023. An expansion of the state's Deferred Retirement Option Program bumps the limit government workers and educators can draw pensions while working from five years to eight or 10. Lawmakers hope the extension of the retirement benefits will help the state retain crucial public employees. There are 50 Rice's whales left in existence, and a new proposal is being floated to protect the rare animals. Ocean advocates want ships to slow down while crossing the Gulf of Mexico to reduce the number of whales being struck or killed by boats. Port representatives posit travel restrictions and speed limits will hobble the state's shipping industry. Florida's population is aging and becoming even more diverse. According to new U.S. Census Bureau data, the Sunshine State's largest demographic was non-Hispanic white at 11.6 million residents. Hispanics at just over 6 million residents made up the state's second largest population group, growing 300,000 in two years. A case of malaria has been locally acquired in the U.S. the first time in 20 years. Five confirmed cases of the mosquito-borne infection have been confirmed in Florida and Texas. Hundreds of new laws, statutes, and regulations go into effect this weekend. 235 bills with a July 1st start date were produced by state lawmakers and sent to the governor for approval. And that's your beat for the week of June 30th. We'll see you next time.